I'm gonna be so shiny. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the full face of only highlighter challenge video. As you know, I'm the first person to do this, so I'll link my favorite ones down below so you guys can have a check out of them as well. So basically, like I don't have I don't have a massive amount of makeup, but I have like a good amount. And at one stage in time, I did hoard a lot of highlighters, so I have quite a lot. And I'm gonna try to do absolutely everything, like eyebrows, contour, and everything, just with a highlighter. So I've got a big selection. So they're all just kind of in front of me now I will say for the places that I would regularly put like highlighter like here and stuff I'm gonna try and use sparkles. I'm gonna use sparkles because like there's already gonna be highlighter on my face And I need to like emphasize those highlighted places a little bit more. So without further ado Let's just get into it <laughs> and the fringe is gonna have to go so because I need to have my face open So I feel like I look a little bit bald, but you know that'll do. I mean I have a lot of highlighters I was trying to think like which ones to use for which because like to make it like so ooh, to make it like somewhat the right color so I think for the base, I'm like, I have I have like not many cream ones, but I have a couple of ColourPop ones. And when I say ColourPop, I mean like a couple good years old ColourPop. So these are very old. And I'm gonna smear it all over my face. So that's gonna be great. So I'm gonna use this kind of like yellowy one. Like, oh, let me show you, like this kind of like yellowy one. And I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Um, I don't have anything to use as per concealer. I guess I could use this little Inglot pot. It's like a silvery kind of gold sparkle. Ooh, if you can see it there. I might even put that just like right under my eyes. And for contour, see I don't have much like dark colored highlighter. For contour, I might use this color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. I've used this to absolute death, but I might use that. I also have this sleek one, but again, all the colors are like for my skin tone. I have a couple of Jeffree Star ones too. They're not very usable colors. <laughs> In terms of my face, because the white one could be used as like an all-over powder for after, I actually might do that. These are all the colors I have. I've got Main Condition, Ice Cold, and Princess Cut out of them. I also have some Urban Decay stuff, some NYX, a lot of Inglot. I'm gonna start off with this ColourPop Stole the Show Super Shock Cheek Pearlized. Just all up in the face. I'm not even sure if like it's gonna be enough product in this. It feels wrong putting it everywhere. This is not meant to be smeared all over your face. Also, I don't recommend using expired makeup. Uh, I'm just purely using this because it's the only kind of cream highlighter I have, but uh, otherwise I don't recommend using uh, expired makeup. Don't follow in my steps. The thing is like, it's not super heavy coverage, so I'm not gonna be able to tell if I've like completely covered my whole face. I'm looking pretty white. <laughs> Emphasize how white I am already. But I think, I think that's good. <laughs> I didn't even use it all. Pretty happy about that because I actually like that and I still use it. I'm gonna have to get my brushes involved in this even though they're gonna get really highlightery. Might not be strong enough. A bit of blush on. Am I using the right color for blush? No, I'm using a purple. I want to use like a pink. So this one is Monster Super Shock Cheek. And I'm just gonna... It's not very strong, so I'm gonna go over it with the Princess Cut from Jeffree Star. I'm not even sure if you guys can see that, if it's like a pinky. And I'm gonna go over that with the Princess Cut. My hands are just caked. See, because I'm using it over cream, so I'm like worried that it's gonna go funny. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that sleek one I have as well, the kind of pink I have just to get it like a little more, a little bit more highlighted. Okay, looking glowy, looking glowy as hell. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use like an orangey color, I think, for the, uh, contour because I don't have anything else. I mean, it's not not working. It's not, it's definitely not not working. I mean, it's definitely creating kind of a shadow. I'm also, I just realized I didn't like go over it with like a finishing powder. So I'm just gonna take the, the ice cold from Jeffree Star and just kind of, I'm, I'm setting it, I'm setting it. I mean, I can see that little bit of pink. I can see that pink coming in for the party. This, this orangey is not really doing much, but it's all I got. Oh yeah, I wanted to do some kind of like a, a concealer under my eyes. So I'm gonna use this Inglot pot, which is pure pigment eyeshadow. And it does not say, there's like any shade name, but as I showed you guys a minute ago, it's like that kind of silvery gold. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just put it right under there. Just to give it a little bright, bright effect. As I mentioned before, I'm, I said I'm gonna use the sparkles. So I have some NYX glitter primer. Probably should have put that on beforehand. But you know what? We came to party and I'm gonna try. It might completely destroy everything that I've done, but we're still gonna try. Oh, sticky. 
please don't destroy what I've done. Ooh. Ooh. And of course I gotta put some here because that's where I also put highlighter. Anywhere that I put regular highlighter, I'm gonna put this these sparkles. Oh, it's sticky and cold. Okay. Now my whole thing with these is like, how do I get it on? So I'm gonna try and use this like you know that little crappy sponge brush. I have many options, but I might for the cheeks, I feel like this one's probably the best because it's like the thinnest. Oh, oh, that's a party. That is a party. Looks <laughs> Looks great, and it's getting everywhere. Oh. <laughs> but now we'll move on to eyebrows. <sighs> okay, um, so I have this little eye cream liquid eyeshadow in like this kind of goldy silver, and it's like this kind of paste. I can't let me. So it's like like that color, it's like a gold thing. So I'm gonna use that, cause it's also like a creamy thing. Gonna have to destroy my eyebrow brush. Uh, I'm not gonna brush them, I'm just gonna do that. And then, this might not even be thick enough to do it, but we're gonna try. It's taken off a little bit of the other stuff. I mean, it's not not working, it's just not working the best. I mean, they're eyebrows. I mean, they're not great eyebrows, but they're eyebrows, aren't they? This isn't a competition of who has the best glitter eyebrows. This is just can I create glitter eyebrows with literally just glitter they're kind of like a rose gold so like in certain like lights it's like different I mean that works yep I've just destroyed my eyebrow brush gonna have to clean that I feel like I'm not glittery enough you know like I want like I want more you know why I didn't use this this is an inglot one I don't know what it is called because it's very old so it's kind of like it's all rubbed off the backs but it's, it's definitely inglot okay so now we're gonna do eyeshadow and a lot of options in terms of color so I've got some like a cool makeup geek like kaleidoscope pigment that I'm probably gonna use with like a green and uh, purple then I have this inglot AMC pure pigment eyeshadow in this kind of like greeny kind of turquoisey kind of color and they're all quite intense and are not good with makeup brushes. So I'm gonna use that weird sponge one. So I think I know what I wanna do. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it the best, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna truck on and see if I can make it look great. I just realized that I haven't put like highlighter directly underneath. Highlighter, 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 directly underneath my, uh, my eyebrows. So I'm gonna take this NYX, kind of like a, not hollow, but it's like a purple, just right under there. I feel like a kid doing eyeshadow with one of these. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, so I just grabbed the first brush I saw. I mean, I will say it does go on pretty good. And I need, I'm gonna put the purpley one in the inside part. I'm gonna need a color to go underneath, so what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What are our options? There's this purple in the Aurora palette that I might try and put underneath. I don't know how pigmented is gonna be because it's a highlighter. Oftentimes the actual highlighters, yeah, it's not super pigmented. So, this blue maybe from Lush. We'll try this blue kind of color. Maybe it might look good. I mean, it's showing up more than the purple was. It can't really blend down that much because of the, the sparkles. Yeah, it's showing up a lot more than the other one. It's not really blue once you have it on. It's kind of like a bluey purple. Yeah, that works. So now I'm gonna take that Makeup Geek one and put it, I might have to use my <laughs> fairy dust all over my hands. <laughs> so this one's the kind of one that works better. You just take your hand with it. This is looking pretty cool. So, oh, I still have, yes, that's a good point, Jenny. Good point, Jenny. I still have this glue on my hand because I said everywhere that I put regular highlighter, I have to put sparkles. So I put regular highlighter here. So I'm gonna have to put some sparkles, but I might change it up and use different sparkles because I have many. That's that glue on. These like kind of hexagons. And we're gonna use, oh, and they're immediately everywhere. I mean, how else are you gonna highlight your eyebrows? Highlight your sparkle eyebrows. Oh, and they're like a mermaid. <laughs> I now need to do eyeliner. It's gonna be very hard because none of my colors are super pigmented and I don't have many liquidy colors. So, what am I gonna do for eyeliner? Oh yeah, I wanna take this white radiant one from uh, from Lush. I'm just gonna put it in my inner corner. Oh, it's, it looks white, but it comes out gold. Get her back in there. Look what I just found. A Kiko glitter eyeliner. Wonderful. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So again, very old. Wouldn't recommend. So I'm just gonna, I'm not sure how visible it's gonna be or if it's just gonna like pretty much just take off everything that I've just put down because it's just like all silver. But uh, I'm just gonna try my best. 
I mean, it's li you literally can't see it. Could I, could I maybe like put some pigment in it? I have a shit ton of pigment here. I'm gonna do a little concoction because I feel like that's the best idea. So I'm gonna mix together those colors I did on my on my eyes, and we're gonna dip this eyeliner into it before pushing it on my face. I mean, I can see it, but ah. Uh, there's a sparkle, there's many sparkles on it. I can see it, but I'm not sure how well you guys can see that line. It's not the most visible thing in the world. I'm just gonna dip it in a bunch of different stuff and see which makes it the best. That's a little bit more visible, right? That's a little bit more visible. I mean, there's definitely something else there. It just looks a little crumbly and crunchy, but I mean, if it works, if it's stupid, but it's not work, but oh, wait, hmm? if it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. That is that, so I need to do, I'm gonna have to do regular mascara because I don't have glitter mascara. And we'll do, we'll do that. I'm gonna put some glitter on after. Okay, now that I've done that mascara, I'm gonna immediately take this Inglot one that I haven't used yet, which is kind of similar to that other uh, NYX pigment, but not exactly the same. And I'm just gonna sparkle up my eyebrows. My eyebrows, I meant to say my eyelashes. Quickly, quickly, whilst it's still drying, quickly, quickly. The mix of the black and this is making it turn perfect purple so like my my finger is like a dark purple is that is that a done no 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 i also have this kiki like lip gloss sparkly lip gloss which i'm gonna add to my lips i'm not a big lip gloss person or a lip anything person but you know it smells like sugar i might add some more uh glitter to it i'm going to take i think one of my, my sleek one and go in with the cream now it's all gooey <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> do I look great? Do I look great? Am I shiny? Wait, like, hang on. Is that making it better or worse? Shiny. Is it great? I gotta put my fringe down. <laughs> okay, go to your sign seat, people. Sign seat. I think I look very alieny. It's so sticky on my lips and I feel like it's getting in my eyes. Yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the, oh wait, what you think of the look. Uh, and if I should do it again or I should wear it out. Or if you guys want to see just a full face of glitter, let me know as well because, I mean, I'll try. Don't know how well it will go. I can feel there's a little one right there. It's like embedded in the lip gloss. And it's like, oh, I'm taking it, I'm taking it. Off. Oh, it's there. But yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you like this video by hitting that like button. Also, hit the subscribe button, guys, if you want to see more videos from myself. I post new videos every Sunday or Monday. And yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye! So I've been told by my friend that a good trick a good good trick to get the glitter off is to use tape. So I'm just gonna quickly try and do that for you guys to see if that works. I mean, yeah, like it got a decent amount off, but it looks really gross. It got a decent amount off. Yeah, this is working great. I highly recommend this.